I see you. You're not that subtle hiding behind the rock. Yeah, I know you're there. You're not getting my lunch. Oh, no, you're not. We've got all the dogs and all the people and yeah, Doug is making fun. us the best pizzas so good. ever. Just pizza after pizza. You can see like one <laughs> over there. There's Reg, our amazing host. We've got a fire and another pizza going. Ugh. It's like heaven. You can still see the mountains are socked in, but no complaints riding it out here. All right, you guys, here we are, right exactly where we left off. You can see the trail junction. And we just climbed back up from uh, Horseshoe Meadows. And game on. We're back up and the storm has passed. And you can see we definitely have some snow, but we're wearing our waterproof socks and uh, we're thinking it's gonna melt pretty fast. So excited for Horseshoe Meadow to Kearsarge Pass. Finally! It's like Christmas in May. With all the snowy trees. We are at our very first Alpine Lake, you guys. This is Chicken Spring Lake. And it's so pretty. And what's cool is that lakes are a brand new icon for us. It's a duck. Snow's melting fast. All right, it's day 43, and we are going to climb Mount Whitney, which is that, not the first mountain, not this guy, but this guy. All right, are you guys, you guys got your food? I'm so yep. ready. I'm going to guard the food in the camp because I've climbed Whitney before and that way they can uh, do it with the lightest packs possible and yeah, I'm going to have a spa day here in this rock <laughs> with all this marmot poop. Me and the marmot poop, we're going to hang. Alright. Look at this beautiful high alpine lake. Look how this sparkly the water is. Oh, if it was warmer I would totally stop and swim, but it's cold. We're just starting to get above the tree line. We're gonna go whoop, right up there. It's that big top peak. There's a shelter up there that you can't see. But I think first we're gonna go over there and do some switchbacks of death to get to the top of the ridge. So fun times. Behold, there is a marmot in the trail. He's just sitting there. Oh, bye. All right, as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous up here. I am at the uh, Whitney Junction. Trail Junction? Yeah, like, if you go one way, it takes you up to the summit. If you go the other way, it takes you either down to Crabtree or down to the Whitney Portal. And uh, I'm hanging out with a little marmot here. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. Hanging out with my little woodchuck buddy. I think I'm gonna rest here for a little bit because I just did 11 switchbacks of death and it was intense. What are you doing? What are you doing, stink pot? I know why you're here. You see a bunch of backpacks and a bunch of people that are climbing Whitney and you think you're going to eat all the food, but I'm guarding this food. I know all about you. Well, look at you eating a little treat that you found. You're adorable. You're just about the cutest chipmunk I've ever seen. So a successful Whitney day. We have a view of a very cute marmot. And we are having some Backpackers Pantry Fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. How was your day? Amazing. Better Yay! now that I've had Fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. Awesome. QC, how was your day? It was so good. Nice.
It's day 44 and we are approaching Forester Pass, which is so exciting. I reckon we'll see it around this corner. And uh, how are you? Good. All right, we're part of the way at Forester Pass and you can see we're going right up there. It looks like there's no trail. It looks like an impenetrable wall of rock, <laughs> but it's been an amazing climb so far. Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty nice. Gorgeous. You got a good day for it. Woohoo! Woo nice. Hey, you fancy a swim? Yeah. I bet we could break right through that ice. What? I bet we could break right through that ice. Oh. Someday we are going to hit the trifecta of a hot day and a thawed lake, and we will swim. Getting closer, you guys. It sure doesn't, I don't see trail anywhere, nope. but we are going up and over that somehow without the use of like climbing tools. So the trail will reveal itself. Yeesh. I still can't really see the trail. And I can't believe we're going up and over that, but I know we are. So I'm just gonna believe Whew. there was a trail. You just couldn't see it. So we're in a bunch of little switchbacks. Going up, up, up. You can see the trail down there. There goes Chief. You can see all the switchbacks coming up. Whew. All right, we made it to the top. You guys, this is the highest point of the PCT and the first of the High Sierra Passes. So the game in the Sierra is a pass a day. It's like down 10,000, up 10,000. Crazy. What a... And we're still alive. We're still alive. What a great new view. Hooray, Forrester. All right, so you can see there is a lot more snow on the north side of this pass. And so we have our spikes on for safety and our ice axe is out yep. and uh, we've been carrying these spikes for like 600 miles basically since San Jacinto so okay we got spices spices spikes and ice axes out we are ready to go down being safe how is it Amazing. nice come at me Got the ice axe in our upper hill hand. If there's a slip, because you can see, like that would be a very fast slide. Mima probably shouldn't watch this section. Mima, Sasha says, don't watch this section. Woo! Woo! So you guys can see why it was very important to us to not be up here with that two-day storm dumping snow. Like, that would have been crazy. If you're in the high Sierra and you know it, clap your hands. If you're in the high Sierra and you know it, clap your hands. If you're going over passes and you're wearing your sunglasses, if you're going... <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Ah! You're so mean. Oh, I see the shell down. There's the pass we just came over and you can see why we wouldn't want to slip down that top slope because you would go flying off that little edge and then slide even more and it would be crazy. So that little divot right there is Forester Pass that we just came over. If you've ever wondered what it's like in the Sierras between the high passes back down at Treeline, this is what it's like. There's just beautiful trees and amazing streams and rivers. Is this like boring you? <laughs> you only climbed Whitney yesterday and Forrester today. I don't know why you're tired. <laughs> water, water everywhere. And we can drink all of it. Look, it's flooding the path. 
All right, you guys, this is how our day ended. We met up with our awesome friends that we met at Hikertown, and we got five tents, and everybody is cooking their delicious dinner. So we got Captain Obvious and Noodle and Chief and Shake, who's sitting on his bear canister. Yeah, and QC, and AKA, who's in his tent. I don't know if he's cooking in his tent. So, great day, and um, side trip to Bishop. And then we're gonna stop doing really lame three day sections, we yeah, promise. Yeah. Stroganoff sauce, egg noodles, beef, and mushrooms. Oh, let me see. That looks amazing. It's pretty great. It is day 45, and we are scooching out a side trail to the town of Bishop, um, leaving behind this beautiful lake. Hey, QC! Oh. It was very cold last night, everything froze. Um, and we talked about going from Lone Pine to VVR all in one go, but with an extra day for Whitney, that would have been a lot of food to carry over all these mountain passes. So we're going out for a quick double Nero and then uh, back in just to resupply. There goes Chief. <sighs> we actually have to go up and over a pass to get out to Bishop. And you guys, it's total side miles. It's not even PCT miles. There's a lake that we saw earlier and, uh, whew, I'm almost there. I reckon that's it. Bonus pass, just cause we're crazy about passes. So we just went over Kearsarge. And if you look this way, there's the desert floor again. It's been there this whole time. Hey, one of my favorite stories from this week is we were camping last night with Noodle, Shake, AKA, and Captain Obvious. And Shake went out to dig a cat hole and dug up a Home Depot bucket in the middle of the wilderness. And then, because it was full of someone's old resupply that they had buried in the woods, Shake and Noodle and that whole group carried that bucket over Kearsarge Pass where we met them and like people took turns carrying the bucket and then they put the bucket in the trash at the trailhead. They are my heroes. So Noodle and Shake carried this over Kearsarge Pass and it is ceremoniously going in the You guys are heroes. <laughs> amazing job this week on the altitude questions so we want to do a big shout out to sailor and dennis who gave us really specific information on the amount of oxygen and how it decreases as you go up when you're at the top of mount whitney or forester pass you only have 60 percent of the oxygen that you have at sea level and your red blood cells can hold less oxygen before you've acclimatized and also a huge shout out to camden who told us that your appetite increases as you gain altitude and Camden, we can definitely attest to that. All right, so this week we're gonna go over five named Sierra passes between Bishop and Vermilion Valley Resort. What are the names of the passes? What are their elevations? And you'll get to see us go over all five in next week's video. Hey, to help you answer this week's challenge question, we have a link in the comments to a really cool topo map of the PCT and a really cool gizmo.com that will show you how to use a topo map if you've never looked at one before.